Tell me how, well, tricky schedule with the Christmas period, but how have the lads been in training this week? Yeah, very bright and breezy. Um, it's slightly different because obviously the game's knocked back a couple of days, but uh, they've been given the right kind of rest and recuperation. And as normal, we'd be building in with a two day prep for the game. So we've been in this morning, we've been again in the morning, um, but everybody seems to be, you know, bright and breezy. Um, we've had a tough schedule before Christmas kicked in and we're going to have a tough, as tough a one afterwards. So everybody's going to get uh, game time minutes. So the ones who missed out at the weekend or last weekend may well be involved this. And the, some lads who played in the home fixture might not, might get them in this, uh, this time. So everybody's got to be ready and available. And as we speak, um, that's exactly what we are. I mean, it almost goes without saying, but it'd be really nice to start 2024 the way we kind of ended 2023 in, 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 the, in, in the start of this season, won't it? Yeah, I mean, we'd like to get back on a positive, you know, get off on a, a positive footing. Um, you say we want to start it as we ended. Well, we, we'd we rather t- take three points than the one point, but I know what you mean. I think in general, we're, we're performances both home and away have, have recently have been decent and they've, they've garnered us either points or we've progressed in cup competitions. So... You know, we, we're, I think we're in a good place mentally, a good place physically. Uh, it's just about turning up and hopefully, hopefully, you know, running the game plan. Looking at the last game against Woking, obviously, as you say, it was nil nil, it was a draw, but we had good chances to win, as did they. It was good, good up both ends of the pitch from us. So, what, what are we looking to take into this one? Well, I think I mentioned after the game, you know, it was a bit like a sparring match. When you play the same team twice within a week, which we've done quite a lot lately, we've had Stockport in, within a week, we've had Eastleigh within a week. You tend to, you know, you know what's coming because as much as there might be one or two of the cards in the pack that get shuffled, uh, the general way of each club has an identity in working and no different. So we'll just try and stamp our authority on the game like we did more, more so in the second half in our place. We'll try and do that for more of the game and uh, hopefully we'll come out on top. In a more general looking at things, obviously we've had a few long-term injuries. Now we push into 2024. Is it quite exciting to see that they're going to start coming back? We've seen Stuart come back, obviously. Yeah, well, Stu's the first of a, of a few. Um, I think Theo and Ethan are really near enough up to speed now to be considered in, in this squad. Um, and AJ is just around the corner. So that will put real pressure on the lads who've been in and around the squad. As I mentioned again after the Boxing Day game, I do see there being one or two changes, whether that's ins and outs permanently or out, younger ones going out for some, for some game time. But uh, let's get the, the working game out of the way first. And of course, after that the week after that, that weekend, we have to go to West Brom and have nine on the bench. So we're going to need our numbers around at least until the FA Cup tie. Uh, and we'll assess again after that. But I, I can definitely see some movement coming. And even though this one's away, we'll certainly have the backing of the shot supporters with a sold-out away allocation, and that'll be fantastic, won't it? Yeah, fantastic. I mean, like, the atmosphere in our place on Boxing Day was excellent. To have over 5,000 of our own in the building was superb. But whilst we'll be in the minority uh, on New Year's Day, I'm sure they'll, they'll give their all and, and we'll hear their voices as loudly as we have whenever we've travelled this season. They've been right behind us and the lads will only feed off that.